Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Hey, so this little idea came about because as a university lecturer, my students are just about to head off for the summer to think about their next steps in their careers. Obviously, this is a strange situation for them to be leaving. And ordinarily, we would be doing something in university to give them a chance to make those memories, uh, to you know collect photos, to think about how they might share their ideas. In the UK, we probably don't go as far as a lot of other places in terms of having yearbooks, but I suppose now there's an even bigger reason to have that yearbook because they're not having the opportunity to get together and do something in the ad hoc way. So I thought that creating something as a virtual yearbook, as a way that students would be able to collaborate on a document, to talk about you know what their hopes and dreams are for the future and have other people, you know, pass on memories, something to really kind of cement this moment for them in the true yearbook style. And I thought what a great way to do that potentially is through creating something in pages. So I'm going to jump into pages now and just talk about how I might design this, how I might use this. And then a little bit later in the video, I'm going to talk about like the process for how you would be able to share this as a collaborative document so that your peers would be able to add in all of their pages and you could end up with this great big book about your memories of each other. So we're going to jump in to create a new document. And as always, I'm going to start with a blank landscape book. Again, you can use those templates if you want to. I'm just going to really create a one page template for this that would allow the students to do things. So I'm going to delete these pages out that are already in there. Oops. Really don't want to duplicate them. I want to delete them. Let's get rid of all of these. I'm going to keep that title page for the moment and I'm just going to start a blank page. This is going to be the same page for all of the students where they would be able to add in their content. I'm going to start with some simple sort of placeholders where they can add in images and again we'll have a look at how we might build this afterwards and I'm keeping this really simple just um, as part of the tutorial um, and I'd really urge you to, you know, to think about the, the content that you want to add in and the design layout, etc. That's a really personal thing for how you might want to put things together um, in your institution or school. So what I'm thinking here is this box here might be a nice place for them to add a photo of who it is that they're talking about. OK, I'm going to talk about like what this might look like in a second. And we talked about this earlier, about this whole idea of this photo page. You know, the text saying add a photo means that they then need to come up here, tap on the plus, tap on the media, all of those sorts of things. So let's turn this into a really, really nice placeholder. So to do this, um, I'm going to pick up on that theme that we've done before. And rather than this being a box, I'm going to turn this into a Memoji. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to choose maybe my Memoji. I'm going to crop this. I've just grab this quickly as a as a screenshot so let's just you know stylize this a little bit better there we go something about that um do you know what i quite like it over that shape so i'm just kind of you know designing whilst i'm talking at the moment um i'm going to group those things together okay so this is going to be who i am and again this is only a template so at this point i'm going to open up photos Hopefully you've seen this in other videos. If you haven't, this is just a great way to just create a placeholder. I'm going to drag it over to this side of the screen. It's now created that as an image. I'm going to delete that original because that was just shapes and a picture. I'm going to take back now what is an image. And that gives me the power to be able to create that as a placeholder. So place that back to in line. Go to the paintbrush. Go to image. Go to set as placeholder. I now get this plus icon here, which when I tap on it, it takes me to my photos to be able to add in those pictures. So it just kind of speeds up that process for your learners. Next page, uh, next section here, I think, it'd be quite nice to be this, this is about me, okay? So who am I? What are the things that I want to, to say? Now, the box instantly gives me the, the text to be in the middle um, and centered. So I just want to change that. So I actually have it at the top. 
I'm going to change my text size. I want this to be a bit, a little bit bigger. Um, and I'll make this all about me. Uh, we'll just put name. Uh, hopes. Oops. Hopes for the future. Uh, memories of the course. Or school, you know, it could be anything you want to add into this bit and you get the idea okay so I'm just sort of building in this is about me and then over on this side I want this to be something um and again I'm just going to sort of change these oops change text size and this is actually going to be a place where you want the students to um add in about their friends okay so on the left hand side over here this is me adding this this is what I want other people to add in and there's a couple of things that you can do with this if you're going to use a pages template to do this um, you know you might want to put in an image gallery where people would be able to add in their own images um, or just a space where people can leave comments write comments on the page you know there's just so many ways that you could do this it's just like a yearbook I think the the addition of having the videos uh, sorry pictures in here maybe you want another place to add videos and a section over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create this as um, a template. Just grab those elements, add them in. For some reason it won't let me do this as a, as a group. Okay, so uh, you know I'm just going to do it individually. There might be a better way to do this. If you find it, please leave a comment um, in the in the comment section. Uh, below this is just kind of the way that I've done it I've just noticed I've put this into the wrong page uh, which is fine I'll just rename this one instead so all about me master page so then once that's created obviously now when I tap on the plus I can just add in as many pages as I want about this so each student would be able to add in their own page They'd be able to add in their own memories, etc. over here, adding in the um, additional uh, you know, views of videos, etc. Uh, whatever they want to add into this section. It's completely customizable, you know, go for it as you like. Now, this page here, obviously, this is going to be yearbook 2020. And again, you know, you guys are going to be so much more creative than I am when it comes to doing things like this. What I've done in a previous video, if you've seen that video, is I actually in Keynote created like this um, yearbook cover. And this is kind of the reason why I created the yearbook cover is because it's going to go on my yearbook. So I'm just going to tap on the export and go to images. I'm going to export this as an image. I'm going to save that image to my device. Go back into pages. Go to my plus, go to my photos. You'll see that my picture that I've just created is here. And I can use this within my book, you know, just to give it that really nice kind of overview. And again, you know, I really think that other people's creativity is going to be so much more on point than mine. Um, but you get the idea. OK, so now I've got this yearbook cover. Here's pictures maybe of some of the students, maybe some of the, the um, course instructors, lecturers, teachers, whatever it might be. Um, and then within that, there's going to be a separate page for each one of those students. Now, you might want to add some more information depending on age of your students. You might want to have a bit of a an overview page. Um, if I was going to do that, maybe I would, um, you know, take a screenshot of that page. I'm going to add in a blank page then to give me that option to be able to design here. Add in that screenshot. And this is just an idea, you know, I'm sure people come up with lots and lots of ways to do this themselves. I'm just going to you know, trim out the bits that I don't need just because we don't want to over overload the information on a page. And then I might want to just, you know, add in some information here. I might even use my pencil to do this one. Oops. I'm carried away with my editing here. And then I'm just going to, you know, add your image or an emoji, add memories, a 
There you go. You know, and again, please do, you know, don't take my design as being final. This is something where I think people can be really creative and design this page. All I'm saying here is, you know, it might be nice to just have that additional page in here to, to explain to students how to use it. You can delete that when this is all completed. And then on each page, each student has their own space to create who they are, their Memoji um, or image, and then place for other people to comment on things in here. And obviously, once you've created one, you can always duplicate that page to give people more space over here. So that's it really, just a very, very simple how to create a digital um, pages template. Now the key thing here is how do you get this so it can become collaborative? Now there's, I'm gonna look at this from a, a few different ways. I've created this in pages. Um, you can create this in lots and lots of other applications. The key thing is that you're gonna to wanna to have this as a collaborative document so anyone can use it. If you're doing this in pages, tap on the collaborate button here. You want to be able to add people. You're going to need to change your share settings so that anyone with the link or only people you can invite, depending on how your setup is. If you have it as only people you invite, you're going to need to obviously invite all of them via email so that they, it, it links up the system. If you do this with anyone with the link, obviously you could send this to a whole cohort, etc., to enable them to do things. And you're going to need to make sure that this is set to anyone can make the changes. So that's how you're going to do this if this is Apple ID. Obviously, there are certain restrictions that you'll be aware of in your school about managed Apple IDs and students being able to share. A couple of other ways you can do this then. If you've created this and you want students to be able to collaborate on this, we can create a link. We can think about adding passwords if you want to think about the extra layer of security. But then why not add this into your Google Classroom, into a Google Drive, into OneDrive, into Teams? There are different ways that you can do this. And of course, there's always the option of creating something similar to this um, using PowerPoint or Word or Google Slides or Google... I'm trying to think of what oh, Google Docs, oh, complete brain freeze then in terms of the, the names of all of the different platforms. But that it's just an option in order to do this. If you put this into Google, obviously you can then use a similar thing to this in terms of how do you share to those students. If you do this in uh, Microsoft's products, obviously you can do exactly the same thing here. And then once it's complete, everyone's going to have a copy of this. Now, obviously the one thing you're going to want to comp think about is the comments and memories that are shared. It might be nice to have an overview that goes out first to say that this is an end of year, we want to be nice, we want to be kind, we want to be polite. These are not um, a place where you want to say anything negative about anyone and the pictures that you share, these are going to be memories for life. Let's think about the pictures that we share. But again, I'm not going to question anyone out there's professional integrity. I'm sure you guys would think about that. I'm sure you guys would know how you would position this for your students. So there we go creating a digital yearbook that would enable students to be able to leave their comments, memories and thoughts to really commemorate this year that, to be honest, I can't imagine is going to be forgotten anytime soon. If you like this, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please, it would be great if you could subscribe. And I would love to see your comments below about how this could be improved or ways that you've used this with your own classes going forward.